What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is just Webster's. We're talking about Transformers 5. This is episode number 26. And in this episode, before I begin, I want to give a couple of happy belated birthday shoutouts to two very awesome Raging Nation members, and that would be Everett Newson and also Jonathan Peluso. Happy belated birthday, guys. I apologize for the late shoutout, but I still want to give it to you guys. So happy belated birthday, and I hope you both had a good one. And also another shoutout goes to Tyler Combs. Thank you very much for that epic thank you video. I really appreciate it. The fellas over at the A3 Review appreciate it, and we as a whole appreciate your support. So thank you very much. Now, what we're going to talk about in this episode is... Rumors and false information. I know I don't have any big updates for you guys, but I still want to address this information that's being spread out about Transformers 5, okay? In the previous episode, I addressed some rumors about Michael Bay directing Transformers 5, and, well, in this episode, we're going to do more or less the same kind of thing, just because there really isn't that much information out there, but... There have been some new developments, and we're going to talk about that, all right? First of all, let's go into the world of Twitter. And you know that the writers at the writer's room of the Transformers Cinematic Universe uh, have Twitter profiles. Not all of them, but some of them do. And I follow them, and I've been keeping up with their updates and their tweets. And I decided to uh, just tweet at Zach Penn and also Lindsay Beer, both of whom are very active on Twitter. And I wanted to ask them, how's the writing going? All right, how is the writer's room and how is the process going over in the writer's room uh, led by Akiva Goldsman? And uh, Lindsay Bear tweeted back and she said, Yep, going great, of course. It's a room full of smart, fun, talented people. So that's great. I really appreciate that enthusiasm, that positivity, and it makes me feel excited um, with uh, responses like that so i'm happy that she uh, tweeted back because that really um engages the fans and i'm a fan and i'm really glad that she took the time to respond back to me all right now when asked about any specific details she responded with unfortunately it's still nda city up in here but i can say we've been cooking up very fun stuff that excites me as a fan now that's no surprise nda non-disclosure agreement meaning that they signed an agreement to not disclose any information. So I'm not surprised. I mean, after all, they want to keep this stuff under wraps. They don't want anybody to know anything. And then when the movie comes out, you'll get a lot of surprises. And what's also very exciting to me is that uh, she mentioned that uh, this stuff excites her as a fan. She's also a fan. So um, what she contributes to the story will really... Um, uh, be an extension of what she loves about the, the Transformers universe. And then I also tweeted the same question to Zach Penn, who is also one of the writers, and he responded with, we are all working on our outlines for Transformers. Now, the key word here is outlines, with a plural. Now, there are, I think, 11 or 12 writers in the writer's room, and with each of them having their own outlines, it essentially means that they're working on their own individual stories, which suggests or maybe suggests that it could be 11 or 12 individual movies or films, rather. So this is going to be a pretty big universe. I mean, I don't know how much material they're going to create, but I think it's going to be a substantial amount of material. It might necess not necessarily mean that each writer is working on an individual story, but at least we are going to get several of them, as we already know. So that is quite exciting. Now, the final tweet comes from also Lindsay Bear, and she um, decided to tweet a photo of uh, her and a couple of writers with the head of Megatron. And it says, more fun from the Transformers room. Recognize that head in the back. It's Mega Photo Bob Matron. So a lot of fun there. And I'm really happy to see that sort of uh, enthusiasm. All right, so that's cool. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to be addressing some information. A lot of this information out there has been spreading like a wildfire about what is happening. Now, I don't really believe that any of this stuff is true. I mean, it could be true to a certain extent in the general sense, but some of these articles really get into specifics, and I'm here to talk about them. So, let's first 
Um, oh, okay, you know, before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everybody who decided to uh, pass this information to me, all right? I want to say thank you for, uh, for looking out and, um, you know, uh, doing your own research as well and passing this information to me. I appreciate that, uh, but I also want to say just keep in mind uh, what I said, and that is the writers have signed a non-disclosure agreement, and what you see on the internet is most likely information that really doesn't mean a whole lot to be completely honest but I still appreciate the fact that uh, you want to share information all right after all this is what social media is about sharing information and um, I want to say thank you anyways uh, so let's talk about this let's talk about this this uh, piece of information that is being shared and it comes from movie news guide okay entertainment uh, website and the headline Dated August 18, 2015, says Michael Bay set to direct Transformers 5, Optimus Prime rumored to die in the new film. Juicy article, Optimus Prime dying, Michael Bay set to direct. After all, that is a big question. Is he coming back? Well, um, let's look at the first paragraph here. I'm going to help you look out for bogus articles and articles that don't really mean a whole lot. I'm going to help you find this. First of all, let's look at the date, August 15, I mean, August 18, 2015. So, you know, this was quite a while ago. Uh, but let's look at the second paragraph, okay? Uh, oh, let's look at the first paragraph. Michael Bay is set to return to the Transformers franchise and will begin shooting for the new film soon. You know, soon could mean any time. Next paragraph. Many initial reports said that Bay will not return to direct the sequel to Transformers Age of Extinction, but as was revealed by ScreenRant.com, he's ready to helm the next movie once he finishes his current projects. Okay? So, that's all we need to know because... It goes to ScreenRant.com. So let's move over to ScreenRant.com and see what they have to say. Um, ScreenRant uh, says, has a headline that says, Transformers 5, Mark Wahlberg says Michael Bay likely to direct. Okay, so he's not set to direct. He's likely to direct. <laughs> and it says right here um, on the article, while speaking with Collider, Wahlberg said he thinks Bay will ultimately end up directing Transformers 5. However, the actor admitted he knows little about the progress of the next film in the franchise. So, once again, it goes back to that article from Collider.com. Okay, so, uh, well, you know what? For those that don't know about that article, uh, the article that pretty much started it all, uh... It really comes back to an interview that took place on June 12th of 2015. Okay, what does that tell you? Look at this. Transformers 5, Mark Wahlberg thinks Michael Bay to direct. Dated June 12, 2015. That initial article was dated August 18, 2015. All right, they're digging up news that is old, out of date. Okay, and the fact is that even though the, the, the August article said that Michael Bay set to direct, and Optimus Prime dying, it goes back to this article dated June 12th. And let's just see what Mark Wahlberg had to say. Do you have any update on the status of Transformers 5? Have you heard anything about what's going on? I don't, just that Akiva Goldsman and those guys are starting to write and break stories and stuff like that. But Michael Bay is in Malta shooting Benghazi and I'm in New Orleans shooting Deepwater. We'll get together when he gets back. Do you think he'll ultimately direct it? Wahlberg, yes. So he thinks he will direct it. He's not set to direct it. He's not in talks to direct it or not in negotiations to direct it. Ultimately, he's not confirmed to direct Transformers 5. So that article is really nothing that we need to be too concerned about. Now, I was also passed another article from the Gospel Herald. Headline, dated August 20th, 2015. Okay. Transformers 5 release date, spoilers, cast, Michael Bay is apparently in. Will Optimus Prime be out? So uh, that's from the Gospel Herald. And um, checking out that article, it says, according to the Parent Herald, it looks like Michael Bay will be back as a director for the Transformers 5 in spite of reports to the contrary. The sequel is planned for a release date in the summer of 2016, but this has also moved to 2017. All right, scrolling down, it says... There are also reports that Unicron will appear, who also appeared in the first Transformers animated movie. The Day Herald reports that Unicron was a Decepticon leader, but in actuality, Unicron didn't take any side. Unicron was a planet that would eat other planets, and he could transform himself into a massively gigantic robot. Okay, first of all, once again, 
writers sign an NDA agreement, a non-disclosure agreement, okay? So how could any of this information get out there? How could they even know or anybody know about Unicron or Optimus Prime dying, okay? They're still writing it. You know, with them still writing it, how could they even lock in a director? I mean, Michael Bay doesn't even know what he's getting himself into yet when he hasn't even seen the final script, okay? So, um... Right now, I can say that you probably shouldn't trust any article from any article uh, titled from uh, the Herald, okay? The Gospel Herald, the Parent Herald, and also the Day Herald, okay? Because a lot of that information really is just not solid. Uh, there's no really real credibility to it. They keep on quoting themselves. They keep on quoting other websites and quoting other websites, all right? So there's no solidity to any of that information. But uh, let's look at the latest one. Now, this one's a little bit juicier, okay? Now, this is the one which has been spread a lot, mainly because they start um, name-dropping, okay? Let's check this out. In an article dated um, September 3rd, 2015, so not too long ago, Transformers 5 Plot News. More focus on Autobots. This is from the Christian Post, okay? Mark Ryan, the voice of Bumblebee, and Lockdown spoke about the project during the Wings and Wheel convention in the United Kingdom. He explained that the film is undergoing dual directions. He said that the first will focus on Kate and Co. With that, fans predicted that Transformers 5 will be centered around having the Autobots on Earth. The franchise plans to reinvent the brand of the movie adaptations to focus more on the Transformers as opposed to the human characters present. Okay? Keyword being dual directions. He mentioned dual directions. So what does that mean? Okay, and uh, you know what? Name dropping right here. Mark Ryan was at a convention and he was asked about it. And so um, he talked about dual directions. I'm still wondering how come he knows anything? How does he even know anything? I mean, why are they even talking about um, um, voice? Did the writers talk to the voice actors? All right. So um, once again, a little bit to odd here. Okay. Now let's uh, go move on to another article from comicbookmovie.com. This one's dated September 9th. Headline, spoilers, surprising news plot deals, details revealed for Transformers 5. Okay, despite usual denials, Michael Bay is expected to return to helm the fifth Transformers movie, a release which will no doubt once again earn well over $1 billion at the worldwide box office. Um, let's move on to where it says... Talking at a convention in the UK, recently voice actor Mark Ryan, who played Jetfire in Lockdown, revealed that the plan is to have Cade Yager, Mark Wahlberg, and the Dinobots, with a few Autobots thrown in for good measure, assembled to tackle an impending threat on Earth, while Optimus Prime will head into outer space to hunt down the creators of this race, the Quintesson, something which will see him reportedly meet up with Unicron. So we're talking about dual directions here. So we got the story on Earth and also the story where Optimus Prime goes to meet the creators and go up against Unicron. And of course, uh, there's the mention of the Dinobots. <laughs> so these are very specific, spoilerific details. I don't know how Mark Ryan got access to this, but uh, it seems a little bit, um, something's a little bit fishy here. Now let's move on to this other article from Dark Horizons. Transformers 5 to offer dual storylines. So going back to that dual direction sort of thing, they're expanding upon that, okay? Now, voice actor Mark Ryan has reportedly revealed that the upcoming film will go in two distinct directions. R Ryan, who voiced the characters of Jetfire in the second and Lockdown in the fourth film, appeared at the UK's Wings and Wheels convention where he said the first storyline will follow Cade Yager, Mark Wahlberg, and he and the, both the Dinobots and some of the Autobots set out to save Earth from an impending threat. The second will lay the groundwork for the future of the franchise, which will focus more on the Autobots and Decepticons themselves. In that second storyline, Optimus Prime heads into space and finds the creators of his race, a group known as the Quintessons. Optimus will confirm front the giant transformers known as unicron <laughs> once again more or less of the same thing but once again they're quoting they they uh, appear to be quoting something that mark ryan said but it doesn't say specifically in those exact words what mark ryan said but they do always they do talk about that dual direction sort of thing okay uh, from the Parent Herald, September 8th, Transformers 5, cast and trailer, Mark Ryan teases movie may take two directions, franchise may score 12 sequels. 
Wow, 12 sequels. Meanwhile, actor Mark Ryan, who voiced the other over the Transformer Jet file, talked about the upcoming movie during the Wings and Wheel Convention in the United Kingdom, where he revealed that the film will go into two directions. According to Christian Post Entertainment, Ryan explained that the first plot will concentrate on Cade and Co., which brings Fan into conclusions that Transformers 5 will revolve, revolve around the Autobots and Earth. The report hinted at that the franchise will to plans to reinvent the brand of the movie adaptations, and this time they will focus more on the Transformers instead of the human characters. All right, so you kind of see where uh, what's going on here, and finally the last uh, one, the last article comes from Movie Web on September eighth. Transformers Five story may split into two directions, and uh, it says Mark Ryan, um, who has voiced Jetfire in Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, um, uh, and returned for the voice lockdown in Transformers: Age of Extinction, speaking during the Wings and Wheels convention in the United Kingdom, he explained that Transformers Five will go down in two very separate roads. First storyline will follow Mark Wahlberg's Kate Yeager, and he and the Dinobots set out to save Earth from an impending threat, and he will have a few Autobots helping him out, and uh, you pretty much know the rest. Okay. So what we gather from this is that Mark Ryan was at the Wheels and uh, Wings and Wheels convention in the UK. Uh, there was the mention of Dual Directions, humans led by Kate Yeager, uh, and Autobots and the Dinobots uh, will deal with an impending threat, and Optimus Prime will fly off into space and meet the Quintessons, and then Unicron, Optimus dies, and then it's Ultra Magnus. <laughs> so that's what we gather, and that is the juicy details that are out there. Now, this is all very spoilerific. The fact that they're mentioning Unicron, Optimus dying, Ultra Magnus, you know, very spoilerific stuff, very, very specific details. Now, the writer signed an NDA. How can any of this information get out? I know information gets leaked here and there, but seriously, honestly speaking, how did Mark Ryan get access to any of this information? He is a voice actor, and um, there's real, really no details to be talked about unless you have the actual script. Your script, as in whatever his character is, if he is in fact returning. So how could he have this information? I didn't believe a single word of any of this, mainly because I believe that this information is all false, it's it's made up, it is a game of telephone, okay? Somebody uh, talked about it, uh, like, um, somebody talked about it in in, in some in their own words it wasn't even mark ryan's words they just name dropped mark ryan and then they spoke about it in their own words and then one website caught uh, caught attention uh, caught the it caught the attention of one website and then that caught the attention of another website and another website and another website and then the the information is skewed and then now you're playing a game of telephone you see how the information just slightly changed here and there and there and there and it just keeps on changing to the point where it's it kind of manifested into us it took a life of its own and then people are just adding their own information as they speak all right so because of that i'm going to have to say that all of this is false because if you really really do the math it is not possible for mark ryan to get a hold of this information and he has decided to step in and talk about it this is a quote from Mark Ryan. This is the actual quote. This is something that is the only solid piece of information out there right now. And I'm going to repeat it to you guys. I'm totally stunned about the current and false online chatter about TF5 and comments I did not make. I have never given an official interview regarding TF5, nor would I even utter the words Unicron or Quintessons. I'm not in a position to. This is all online speculation and hype because I was misquoted from a casual chat with a fan at an event in the UK. I sincerely have no idea what the storyline for TF5 will be or who, what's in it, or even who will direct it. It's all secret until the movie is released so as not to spoil the excitement for the fans. Sorry guys, I did not say what you are reading online and even if I knew, I would not tell. Any, always, check with the original source directly first before posting speculation. Please, cheers, Mark Ryan. And there you have it. <laughs> like I said, I'm here to address rumors. And with the help of Mark Ryan, he has cleared everything up for us. So, like I said, I'm really here to just drop some knowledge for you guys. And that is to really teach you guys how to spot a false article. Look at the date. Look at the headline. Look at who they quote. Uh, and look, if they even quote at all, look at what source they cite. Okay, if they, if they cite a source, click that source's link. 
okay? Now, and then afterwards, find out if they cite another source. So click that source's link, keep on clicking until you get to the original source and you will find that it comes from a very old article or and uh, it comes from something that was completely fan-made that does not even have an actual source. It just says rumors state that or the reports state that they don't have any actual credible source. Okay, And that's why I want to um, make this video to help you guys and tell you guys that Optimus Prime dying, Ultra, Smith, uh, Ultra Magnus appearing, Unicron and Quintessons are not confirmed. They're not confirmed to be in Transformers 5. They could be, but they will be confirmed at a later date. But not right now. As of now, they are all unconfirmed. And so is uh, Michael Bay directing. Heck, we don't even know if uh, Mark Ryan is returning. So uh, how would he have any of that information? They're still writing the movie. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I really have to talk about in this video. Uh, like I said, I'm here to address rumors and while we don't get any official information, that's all we can really talk about. We can only speculate. And uh, so there you have it. <laughs> if we're going to get any real information, any big news that's worth talking about, it will come from Michael Bay himself or Steven Spielberg, Akiva Goldsman, uh, um, uh, Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner or in an official press release from Hasbro or, or uh, Paramount Pictures, okay? That's where it'll come from. It's not going to come from um, various news sources because they need to essentially uh, quote it from somewhere, okay? So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video and uh, we're going to get more information soon. I mean, after all, they have to make their press release soon considering that uh, if they want to make a summer 2017 release they need to start pre-production in fall okay so there you have it uh, once again that's all i gotta say in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more updates for transformers 5 hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel like me on facebook the raging nation also follow me on twitter at raging nation my name is alex thanks for watching i'll see you next time peace don't just die they get beheaded, they get ripped apart, they get blown to bits. In the Mortal Kombat universe, they call them fatalities.